Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be talking about who will be seeing a white Christmas this year. We'll be going in depth to give you an idea of who has the best chance to see snow this winter and who will be left with coal in their stocking. We're going to start with the best chance to see snow with the historical probabilities then we'll go into actual details including the forecast models and much more. So let's first begin with what the historical numbers are when it comes to having a white Christmas and this graphic was made by the National Climate Data Center and this dates back from 1981 until 2010. Those are the climate normals over this time frame and this is a pretty good map to give you a representation of at least the probabilities overall historically of what you can expect and most of the time in the upper Midwest it's near a 100% chance that there will be snow on the ground. Same thing with the Rocky Mountains back near Colorado and into parts of Wyoming and also back through Idaho. There's a pretty high likelihood that there will be snow upwards of a 75 to 100% chance in any of those areas and even back into parts of northern New England and upstate New York have a pretty solid chance that you will have at least one inch of snow on the ground by the time of Christmas Day. Now overall the chances obviously get much lower the further south you go and for those that don't already know we are going into an El Nino winter. That's something we've not had in multiple years now and what that essentially entails is that we have above average precipitation in the southern tier of the United States. Additionally we usually have colder weather overall. So that's something to keep in mind, but winter is obviously 90 days from December 21st until mid-March, and we are only going to be on the fifth day of winter by the time Christmas comes around. So obviously, we have a very long winter ahead. We have 90 full days, and we're only going to be on the fifth day by the time Christmas hits. So overall, El Nino is not going to be, you know, marching on the doorstep in all the southern tier of the United States with a bunch of snowfall. And additionally, not everyone in the South sees snow even with an El Nino. It just overall means across the entire winter that will have above average precipitation. So right now, again, notice the lower chances the further south you go. We have about a 10 to 25% chance historically across much of the central plains, and it's below 10% once you go anywhere south, basically, of central Oklahoma. And then once we go further down to the south into Florida, Florida is what we call an LOL state, meaning that there is zero chance you are seeing one inch or more of snow on Christmas Day. There is just no way unless we go into a full-blown ice age. I also wanted to show this graphic. It's not much different from the other one, but this gives you a little bit more of a representation of the probabilities in a more broad spectrum. So it goes all the way down to about 11% to 25%, which actually goes down into parts of the Texas Panhandle and as well as Northern Oklahoma with the historical probabilities and as well as back through the Appalachian Mountains, there's a pretty likely chance. So again, just two ways to look at it. This graphic a little bit more detailed than the other one overall. Now for the Midwest, this is an area I did want to point out a little bit more because the Midwest historically has higher probabilities, especially the further north you go. If you're back over near the Chicago area, we're talking maybe a 25 to 50 percent chance in many of those areas. Even back through northern Indiana, the chances are relatively on the 50-50 side. Basically, flip a coin and that's your luck. But in this case, this winter, there might be a definitive decision, which we're going to point out here in just a second. And again, further north you go, the higher probabilities. And then the further south you go, like Kentucky, there's almost a zero percent chance across much of the state. Now, next, we're going to use actual data that's upcoming here across the United States over the next two weeks to give us an idea of what we can expect here across the United States on Christmas Day. Now, obviously, forecasting 12 to 13 days out for Christmas Day is unrealistic. It's usually never accurate, and it's very, very, very unlikely this exact thing will happen. But there is some things that we can look at on the GFS model that will give us an idea of the weather pattern we'll have across the United States right around Christmas Day and who will actually have snow on the ground by that point and will there be any disturbances around Christmas that could bring some snow so the first thing we're going to look at that is the jet stream this gives us an idea of the weather patterns that are occurring across the United States and one thing I want to point out for this week is that we will have a storm in the southern tier of the United States which we'll save for the next video and then we have a ridge that's dominant across much of the eastern tier of the United States right after and following that severe weather event that we just had and then we also have a ridge that's on the west coast of the United States going into Friday that'll also be built building into much of the United States. Now, once we go about five to seven days from this Friday, so basically getting closer to around Christmas, this is around Wednesday to Thursday of the following week. So around December 20th to 21st, things are going to change a lot. So we're going to actually have a ridge that's likely to be dominant across much of the central tier of the United States. Meanwhile, we have two storms side by side on each coastline. Now, again, things could change in between now and then. These storms might not be existent. They might be somewhere else, that sort of thing. But again, this is the general idea of what I'm seeing 
with the futuristic computer models. And this is looking pretty likely to this point that we'll have a ridge dominating much of the United States, bringing warmer weather to much of the central tier from the Great Plains back into the Midwest, and as well as drier weather. But once we get closer to Christmas, this is where the GFS model does indicate that there is a chance for a couple of different storms to enter into the United States by around Christmas Eve into Christmas Day. Now, if something like this were to occur, we would likely have some sort of rain and snow event across much of the central and northern plains of the United States if these two low pressure systems are on track for this location. But again, we're talking about 300 hours out on the GFS model, and things are definitely going to change between now and then in terms of timing, where these storms are, what they're actually going to do, etc. But obviously, this would be something to watch out for. And another thing that we need to pay attention to is if we have this very dominant ridge in the United States for an extended amount of time, we're almost bound to have something to break that with a couple of potential troughs that could bring severe weather and maybe some snow events. Those are definitely going to probably come more and more as we get closer to the end of December. Will that happen around Christmas time? It's entirely possible. I mean, that again is the last week of December, so we'll have to watch that pretty closely. Obviously, right now, it's kind of hard to tell whether we'll actually see snow out of this event or not, though, and where that'll exactly happen. Here's the future radar for the next several days. So again, we're going to continue to see a pretty active weather pattern across the southeast United States as we go into this weekend. And this will be obviously very active with a lot of rainfall, high winds as well. Not a tropical storm, by the way. It'll be more of a cold core. Once we get closer to next week, that low pressure system moves to the north and east. And then we're watching for drier weather for much of the United States next week, or at least that's what the current forecast is. Again, some minor changes could occur over the next few days. Once we go closer to Christmas Eve and to Christmas Day, again, this is what the GFS model was showing. Two different storms that develop and they might bring some snow and rain but again where those exactly happen is very unknown well one thing that has more certainty is who will actually have snow on the ground and who might be surprised by snow being on the ground on christmas day and notice this is the snow depth right now across the united states and again many areas don't really have anything on the ground right now the only exception being the rocky mountains the very far northern plains like north dakota upper midwest and then back through the northeast and the gfs model on the snow depth over the next several days gives us the indication that there will be some shots of some snow but overall nothing significant over the next seven days in parts of the midwest by the time we go closer to christmas eve though this is right now what we're looking at in terms of forecasted snow depth across the united states bearing that there's no additional snowfall that falls over the next 10 days which obviously there probably will be somewhere but where that happens again still a bit of a question mark but the gfs model indicating that there will be a good amount of snow on the ground right along the rocky mountains from colorado back into idaho and as well as into parts of washington perhaps even across the mountains there across parts of eastern California and then maybe parts of North Dakota and the upper Midwest and then also maybe parts of northern New England but elsewhere there's like nothing I mean again we're really looking at a pretty dry white Christmas overall at least by the looks of it now but again if we see a couple of those little storms that impact the United States closer to Christmas Day that could change a bit we might get a little bit more snow there again possibly in the northern plains maybe even the central plains possibly the Midwest but again all those things are big question marks and it's really just a guess on whether any of those areas will actually see snow fall on christmas day so again stay tuned we'll keep you posted with the latest make sure you're subscribed to the channel and like the video